You know, I think there's always a vulnerability and representation of representing a bigger story that's not just your story. And that's to me is the interesting challenge of putting yourself out there to talk about things that are not just about you, but about people that you respect or people that you feel that you can speak about. When I was invited to collaborate with Jay-Z for the anniversary of Reasonable Doubt, I automatically was excited for it because I feel that I could somehow transform the image into something that is fresh and new, but also familiar and historic. I'm Derek Adams. I'm in Brooklyn with my, in my studio. I'm a multidisciplinary artist. I make sound, video, painting, sculpture, many different things. Actually, I'm a professor at Brooklyn College, which most people don't know. I really enjoy it, I love it actually. And I'm excited to do this collaboration with Jay-Z to reimagine the Reasonable Doubt album cover for the 25th anniversary, um, transform it into an NFT. Of course, I was very familiar with the history as well as the image itself. It was around the time I was graduating from undergrad when the album came out and it became a theme song um, for my generation. So it wasn't just about the music, it was about the persona and rethinking the relationship to the lyrics versus the way that you represent yourself as a person listening to rap music. That was one thing that I remember the most about the album is what Jay was wearing on the cover and how the lyrics somehow was reflective of a new era of thinking about rap music and the representation of rappers in media. The painting and the subject for the painting was images from the album cover, the photo shoot. And um, what I decided to do is kind of create more of a montage of imagery that to me represented not just the music, but the aspiration of the artist at that very beginning time in his career. Kind of reimagining the image and recontextualizing the elements in the photograph that kind of conveyed a sense of success. The dress attire, the scarf, the cigar, the jewelry. How can I give them a newer life that is not necessarily divorcing it from the previous experience, but highlighting fragmented elements from all different perspectives of the subject. Transforming into an NFT is something that is definitely challenging for me as an artist, but it's a great challenge because I'm thinking about what about the painting I feel needs to be activated. It's really about looking at the object continuously as it's being developed and thinking about it kind of outside of myself and thinking, what would I want this painting to do if I was a viewer looking at this and I wanted it to speak to me? And I think about my work being very much in line with that because my work is not about just generating a new image. It's about taking things that are familiar to you from different experiences that I've had, that other people have had, and to fuse them together in a formal style. I'm really interested in the idea of highlighting or zooming in on certain areas of urban culture, urban life, vernacular, kind of putting it into different spaces to have conversations about value systems. I like to make work that is aspirational, if you could say that. When you think of a white figure in the way that I'm painting, it's not optimistic, it's just a painting of a white figure. But when you see an image of a black figure in a non-traumatic or oppressive position, it becomes a positive image because it's counterbalancing what is the norm. And when I make work, I don't really think about the idea of optimism or positivity as much as normalizing the experience that a lot of black people have in America and not totally ignoring the other experiences which are happening, but for me, I'll let other artists make that. I think the album, you know, like any really important contribution in music or art, really grows with the listener and grows with the viewer. And I think that the album, of course, means so much different to me because I'm in a different space as an artist. So can't knock the hustle. I mean, that's what I do all day.
Since diapers had nothing to live for like them lifers, but making sure every nigga stay rich within my cipher. We paid the price to circle us, success, they turn my mic up. I'm about to hit.